Moving to uh, the SEC Network, another noon game, a noon Eastern game. Texas A&M off that massive, massive win over Alabama. Uh, A&M is a nine-point favorite on the road at Missouri. Total is 59 and a half. Uh, this is basically a statistically bad A&M offense against a bad Missouri defense and a good Missouri offense against a good A&M defense. So, who breaks, right? It Basically, are we, are we expecting to see the same A&M that showed up at night at Kyle Field and upset the number one team in the country? Or do we revert back to what they were where they were putting up 10 points on Arkansas or when they got beat at home by Mississippi State? I... The line uh, stinks. Uh, go ahead. No, the line the line doesn't stink. Okay, if they don't beat Alabama, this is what the line should have been. All right, I was all looking forward to betting uh, against saying them this week because I love to bet against a team that's coming up with a big hype win like that, something like that. I thought I think you're always going to have a knockdown. But here's the problem: if they play like you set up, if they play against Missouri, the way they played against Alabama, this would be a 25-point line, okay? They'd be a 25-point favorite against Missouri because Missouri is that bad, all right? Yeah. No one thinks they're going to play that way two weeks in a row. The books know that. And so the books made the line reasonable, as, as mediocre as A&M have looked at throughout the season so far before last week. They're still good enough to beat Missouri by more than a touchdown. So, I, I like a and I was expecting this line to be a lot bigger. I'm going to ride Missouri plus the nine because I I do think that they revert back. And th- this is the classic hangover spot, right? And, and, yes, what does Missouri do well? Missouri throws the ball well. Mm, all right. <laughs> I mean, do they throw the ball it. well against Boston College? Okay. Yeah, like, I mean, they like, throw the ball well against who basically the ball well against? Uh, against everybody. Oh, but they, all right, but, but they, look at the schedule. That, <laughs> where's a good? Who's a good team that they play that plays defense? Let's see. Hold on. I'll uh, I'll find this for you. Uh, a good team that they have played that actually plays defense. Uh, well, it, it, Tennessee would be one, and they of course got hammered uh, by Tennessee. But you know, yeah, they didn't score against Tennessee a whole lot. And Tennessee doesn't play a lot of defense, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, Tennessee defense kind of sucks. Let's see, They're a lot uh, like Ole Miss. They put up uh, they put up 25 on Kentucky. They put up 34 on Boston College. You know, it, yeah, no, the they Tennessee put up game, how much on Kentucky. Uh, yeah, they put up uh, yeah, 28 on. It was 35 to 28 loss for them against Kentucky. So Missouri has not covered in nine straight games dating back to last year. They are 0 nine against the number. And and that's why I'm riding with them because at some point well, they got to. Yeah, that's, that's I, I, no, I'm with you. That's my philosophy, and I'm doing what your philosophy is. But I don't care about the like. I don't. I don't look at the past at all. I'm just looking at these two teams right now. I, I think what I've seen just from Missouri, not from A and M, just from Missouri. I think A and M would have been favored by a touchdown if they lose to Alabama last week. Yeah, I can I can see that. So, and with this being nine, like if A and M wins by a touchdown, I get a cover. But if A and M wins by ten, you get the cover. So, I, either way, I do think it's close. I don't like it enough that this would be like an official play for me over on the Bet US show. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll I'll take Missouri in this spot because it it the line stinks just enough to me to make it where I'm I'm going to ride Missouri because I I just think it's a hangover spot. I I think A and M cannot possibly play as well as they did in that first half. And remember, in the third quarter. But that's the thing, Gary. They don't have to play that well to beat this team by nine. <laughs> you're you're not wrong. You are not wrong. We'll, we'll see. I think Isaiah Spiller is going to have a monster game in this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.